Show them, babe. Show them, babe. Show them. Show them the T-shirt. Show them the T-shirt. <laughs> the T-shirt. Oh. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> Turn that fucking shit off before the neighbors fucking knock on the door. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back, Banger. people. You were making fun of me last time with the Bob Marley in my hat. However, you're allowed to wear that T-shirt and me not take the piss. Is that correct? Yes. Is that how this works? All right, yes. cool. You were, you really, really, the only word I can think of is ridiculed me for my awesome hat last time. And you don't think I'm going to mention that t-shirt from 1996. Okay, so this is from Target. So We don't have a Target. That's your first mistake. If it's for the British public, oh, if, they're watch, if the British public are watching, we don't have a Target over there. What's what's the equivalent of Target? There is no equivalent. <sighs> There's really not. Maybe Asda's closest. What? Asda? Asda. What is yeah, that? It's like, like a, a big department store? Yeah, it's like, like you know how uh, Walmart here... Tesco's is our Walmart, like the main supermarket. The next one that's got like more stuff and more electronics and more, I would that's say it's not. Asda. There's not. It's not. I think. I might be wrong before you all attack me again. <laughs> anyway. You're really taking that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just, I haven't been in the UK for 10 years, mate. Things might have changed. Mm. Anyway, welcome back to Culture Clash Reactions. We've been very British heavy lately, but it's only because... The British TVs. I don't want to say they're the best. Don't worry, the Americans coming. The American I just have stuff, to think of. Don't some you worry, good... the Arabic stuff is coming soon, mate. We're gonna go full. We've well, even done weird. a little bit of that though. But we have, we have. I'm trying to think of a good American one to do. I've got my shisha at least. Hookah. We call it hookah over here. Yeah, that's another thing that's weird in America. They call shisha a hookah. Yeah. H o o k a h, like hookah. I the first time somebody said, "Hey man, hey man, want to go for a hookah?" I was like, "Dude, that's really not my scene." To be honest with you, man. Clearly, like, we're saying hookah and not hooker. Wait, but for somebody Sounds who doesn't different. know who's not from here, I thought he was saying, let's go get a hooker. Honest to God, the first time I heard it, I thought he was saying, let's go get a hooker. I said, mate, honestly, kind of got a missus. Do you know what I mean? I mean, on another day, I might say yes, but for today, I'm going to say no. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard the word <laughs> shisha until you said it. Or until I went over to... That's the international word for this. Right. Anywho, in between us, we are back. Episode five. We're loving it, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Are we ready for another episode? Yes. Let's do this. But before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check us out on our Instagram, it's Culture right. Clash Reactions. That's right. Okay. Are the uh, homework done? Should we do this? Yeah. Let's do it. Did you want to check the sound on that? No, it's good. Here we go. I may have had a couple of beverage <laughs> beverages, which is why the dance is really kicking in tonight. Go I've on. had none. I just dance like that normal. Go on, Fen lad. Go on, Fen lad. Hi, I'm Will, and as a special treat, I now get to finish my A levels at a state comprehensive. Posh twat. <laughs> Everyone's made me feel very welcome. Briefcase wanker. I have made some friends. Oh, brain. Unfortunately, it turns out they're bigger losers than me. That I can Which means while other people get to play pool and hang out, I get to spend my free periods tied to a chair with a rubbish bin on my head. What happened to you? I tripped. Really? No, not really, Neil. Donovan's tied me to a chair and he says no one's allowed to touch me. The prick. Just so you know, he stood about ten foot away from us. Shit, he didn't hear that, did he? Yep, he's heard that one. Come on, we'll get you out. Uh, better not, Neil. Sorry, we're not allowed to untie you. Fair enough. <laughs> Put it so back on his head. We go to Blue Water. A shopping centre. Great. You know how much I love chavs. Blue Water's not chavy. It's quality. I go. What's a chav? I've heard that term before. I was before. just about to jump in. I've heard the term chav, but I don't know what it means. Do you know what it means? No, that's why not. I'm trying to think of an American equivalent, but I don't think you really have like proper chavs here. Chavs are like, I'm going to say like like a hillbilly or like a redneck, but rednecks are very like specific or hillbillies. Um, chavs are just like, they dress a certain way, they talk a certain way, and they it's always like antisocial behavior. They're always the kind that when they walk into like a pub, everyone goes, oh God, these lot are going to cause like some trouble or just be annoying or be overly drunk or just dicks. 
they, they just they, like a frat boy. No, because frat boys can be like kind of like douchey, and girls like the frat boys. These guys just like they're just like scummy, kind of scumbags. To okay. be honest with you, that's the best way. So I think like a scumbag is just chavy. Just the way okay. they dress, the way they talk, the way they act, really antisocial and just fucking dicks, basically. Okay. So acting chavy is because you're a chav. Okay. Whatever you said, ex to this weekend, I won't be there. Oh no. Who will supply the witticisms? I'll be up to my nuts in some guts, shagging those two sisters from Caravan Club. It's the Camber Sands meeting this weekend. Up, up to my nuts, nuts like in some guts. Orgy. Except it's not, though, is it? It's <laughs> holidays for old people. I'm sorry. Did someone say something? Was Bin Boy giving it the big one? It's just funny how you never get any girls around here, and yet away on Caravan Club. Do you know what a bin is? No, I honestly couldn't. Didn't really understand him at first. He said, "Oh, b so he said bin boys giving it the biggin, right?" Okay. Do you know what a bin even is? No. A trash can. We call it. Oh, a bin. okay. Well, that's what I thought, but I thought that was too obvious. Yeah, we 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 don't. Yeah, call it like a trash toss can. it in the bin. Put it in the bin. I've heard yeah. that. And then the biggin is he's giving it the big one, right? Yeah, like I got he's that acting too. Like a, like the biggin, he's acting like the big one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, bin yeah. boy is giving it the biggin. Biggin just like shortened from big one. Okay. Makes sense. You're like some sort of gypsy Russell Brand. Yeah, well, I wouldn't shag any of the skanky girls around here, mate. Except for your mum, obviously. <laughs> get in the queue. Brilliant. Don't believe me, then you lot should come down get to Camera Sands. Even Bin Boy might get some sex. All right. I'm definitely up for that. Yeah, love to. Oh, well, you don't have to. No. If I have to sleep in a caravan to prove you're lying, then I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Fine. Good. Come down. Then we'll see who's lying. Yes, you. You're lying. Then. Oh shit, it's Gilbert. Good. Now done. I'm gonna jump in quickly. I actually remember bits of this episode. Another excellent episode. And I'm gonna prove my point from one of the videos. Remember last time I was talking shit about caravans and people weren't happy? You're about to see what a real caravan holiday looks like. Like an actual. Remember, I was telling you people that don't really go abroad, they go, oh, caravan sites are brilliant. Yeah, they're brilliant when you're nine, you don't know shit. But the reality is, you're gonna see what a caravan okay. uh, holiday actually looks like. Okay. in trouble. Oh, don't grass. Cooper, Sutherland, Cartwright, and who have we under here? Mackenzie, sir. Oh, let me guess. No one saw how this happened. I suppose you tripped. No, sir. What happened? Sorry, is... Mackenzie. You're not about to grass, are you? Huh? There's one thing no one likes. It's a grass. Do you know what a grass is? No. A uh, snitch. Oh, okay. That's what we say. Okay. Like, you weren't about grass, were you? Like the teacher telling him, you're not about to snitch, are you? Like, okay. The teacher's giving him like the code of conduct. Nobody snitches. Okay. <laughs> So I will ask you how this happened, and you will reply, I tripped. Sir, <laughs> if no one reported crimes, the justice system would collapse and... I'll ask you again. How did this happen? I tripped. Clumsy. <laughs> 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 Fucking teachers in the UK. Disdain for informers. Really? I was left yeah. tied to the chair for the rest of the day. Guys? The one good thing is we called Jay's bluff. This was the classic win-win situation. If by some miracle, Caravan Club was full of girls, then we might get laid. But if it was full of weird old people and chavs, which it would be, <laughs> then Jay would never live it down. So with high hopes, they got we the hit the open road in Simon's shitty little yellow car. So stupid. Oh, can you get that? It's from Jay. No idea what it says, but I'm pretty sure it's not English. There's an I, then an H, then a V. Oh, give it here. That he says he wants us to pick him up at the garage just outside Canberra Sands and he'll show us how to get to the caravan park. Thank you, Dr. Doolittle. What? Because he, he talks to the animals. I'm not following you. <laughs> oh, and he's also buying a jumbo pack of rib johnnies. Does anyone else need some? Do you know what Johnny's are? Rib Johnny's or rib condoms. Very good. Yeah. But you guys don't call them Johnny's here. I think no, you just heard knew, me say Johnny's. I knew that, yeah. Right. Christ. Forgot about this shit heap. I don't think even I can help you get laid in that. Have you ever used one of these before? It's fucking broken. <coughs> this should reach. You sure you actually passed your test? Yes. How many times did you have to suck off the instructor? You want to park it a bit closer, Si? Yeah, thanks, Neil. Pump number six. Please park closer. Told ya. This is embarrassing. I'm going to go check out the clunge mags. Oh, me. <laughs> the what clunge mags. Do you need assistance? I think I might go and stretch my legs a bit too. Text from this girl at the caravan club. Oh yeah, is it Becky? Yeah. Yeah, I texted you your photo. What's she say? Hi Simon, my name's Becky. Liked your photo. Jay says you got a cool car as well. 
See you later. Smiley face. Well, she's seen a picture of you. <laughs> Smiley face. Let's get back one of her. With her tits out. <laughs> Might be a bit early. <laughs> she is filthy. Still Might a be a bit early. early. What shall I write? Spread them. I'll be there in half an hour. <laughs> oh, my God. So happy to hear from you. Or shall I reply? Spread them. I'll be there in half an hour. Confident. Conf straight. Spread them. I'll be there. Brilliant. Everyone needs a J in their life. And everyone had a J at some point. Will be a pleasure to meet up. P.S. I'm a puffer. Don't put the P.S. What's a puffer? Right, I've put... Can't wait. I don't uh, think we've covered that one. Uh, a slang word for somebody... Like a derogatory term for somebody who's gay. Okay. Great <laughs> to meet up. How will I know what you look like? Smiley face at the end? Smiley with a wink. It's cheeky. No, the winky face is the mark of a moron. I've sent it. Wait. Is that Leona Lewis? Oh, it's a picture of her with her sister Suzanne. Are they kissing? Wait, let me see. Oh, please be Lesbo. <laughs> please be <laughs> Lesbo. Enough. <laughs> I told you there was fit birds, and there's plenty more where they came from. I think I am actually going to get laid. Oh my God, sisters, that's so horny. First <laughs> rule of Caravan <laughs> Club is that everyone gets some. Second rule of Caravan Club is don't tell anyone about the first rule because it's a massive lie. Yeah, well we'll see about that, won't we? Yes, we will. Pump number six, please, and these. And then. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want a bag for these? Douchebag. Okay, admittedly, Jay knew some girls. But driving into the caravan, look at park, this. it didn't look like the kind of place you'd have an orgy. It looked like a field with some old tents in it. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Where are all these women, then? There's loads. Just look around ya. Where? Everywhere. What about her? She's about 12, Jay. <laughs> nah, she's older than that. Believe me. Christ. What sort of camp have we come to? Oh, here they come. Becky, Suzanne. Hi, Hi Jay. Jay. This is Simon I was telling you about. Hello. Hello. Thanks for your text. Nice car. Thanks. It's not actually from Hawaii, it just says it on the back. I like it. <laughs> Are you guys coming to the party later? Yeah, definitely. Great, I'll see you later then. That one has fucked everyone. <laughs> oh Slung my god. I've a few times myself. And who exactly is everyone, Jay? That old man over there, has he had a go on her? <laughs> Look, I promise you that when you go back from this place, you'll be begging your parents to buy a caravan. I'm not sure Neil's dad could afford a caravan. If he thought of it as a mobile closet, I'm sure he'd find the money. <laughs> My dad's not bent. Well, we only have your word for that, Neil. My dad's not bent. Yeah, you would say that, though. Jay! Dinner's ready. All right, then, dickheads. Mum's made you tea, so park up and I'll meet you in the caravan. Tea in a caravan. Mum's made you tea. When we say tea, we don't actually mean tea. What do you mean? We mean dinner. It's a slang word for dinners. Yeah, I'm going home for my tea. Hmm. I, I don't know where it, how, how it started or where it's from, but I hear it a lot of Americans when we say the word, yeah, I went in for my tea, and they went, oh, these guys are constantly drinking tea, bro. I'm like, no, it actually means dinner. <laughs> there you go, boys. Some lovely salad to go with your sausages. Thanks, Mrs. Cartwright. It's my pleasure. <laughs> This is what I mean about what caravans. The fuck? This is really delicious, Mrs. Cartwright. <laughs> How uncomfortable. Cool. Crisps. Have you got any ketchup? All right, boys. You coming to the dance tonight, then? Yes, Mr. Cartwright. I've lined Simon up with. I love this character, Mr. Cartwright. Someone's going to take advantage of all the birds down here. Jay's about as much use as a nun's tits. Delicious crisps, Mrs. Cartwright. Thanks, man. I've never heard that. She owned the packet herself. Don't you boys just love it out here? Sense of freedom you don't get with other holidays. Right. Uh. Well, we'd best be getting ready, Dad. Maybe see you later. Yeah, I'll be there. Fighting the girls off with a shitty stick. <laughs> don't think I'll need that stick. <laughs> Looking back, I should have realised that Mr. Cartwright's explosive bows were a sign of things to come. As much use as a nun's night was finally here. The Caravan Club disco and all its delights of the flesh lay just inside a giant garden shed.
I've been to something like that though. What's that? In the past, I've been to something like that where it's like a little like holiday camp kind of thing. Yeah, and it's and like a little, little party disco. and everyone's together and right. like it's a cute effort. It but literally it's just looks like, like that, doesn't yes. it? It looks. I mean, look, th- three, uh, four teenage boys. Right. Just, it's not the place. Like, to why be. am I here? <laughs> Your ride for the evening is here. Do you really oh think she'll Of course. Why else do you think they come caravanning? Fresh air. That text was her way of telling you it is on. Oh, shit. Amazing. I feel a bit weird, though, because I always thought I'd lose it with Carly. Listen to me. That bird Becky's an animal. She'll fuck you till you're blind and teach you all sorts. When Carly finds out, she's going to be two things. Jealous and wet, because now she'll know you're a stud. Do you really think so? (laughs) Of course. Also, Carly doesn't really fancy you, so if you're waiting to lose it with her, you're going to be waiting until you're dead. I think she likes me a bit, though. No, she doesn't. She thinks you're a twat. (laughs) Becky likes you, and she likes sex. It's the perfect combination. Just don't go for anal straight away. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. Look, here they come. Don't worry. I'll distract Fatty Bum Bum with the buffet. Fatty Bum Bum. <laughs> so amazing. Who are these girls it that they like cast Simon for might this? actually pull if he could bring himself to speak to her. Why are you talking to the pensioners? Oh, just, just taking the piss. What by eating hummus? Yeah. Would you rather eat hummus or take me somewhere quiet? I think I'd rather take you somewhere quiet. Come over here, then. Sorry, I, I didn't catch your name. I, I'm Will. <laughs> it's still no, going. Still going. Now I've said it. <clears throat> Will, two things. For the next few hours, I don't need you to be charming or sophisticated or even interesting. I just need you to be willing. Can you handle that? I think so. Good. And second, kiss me. Right. OK. <laughs> Will does all right with the girls. Dude, literally. What are you doing? I just need a moment. I'm going to take you outside and I want you to fuck me. <gasps> really? Yes, really. Hang on. I mean, we, we barely know each other. We should get to know each other a bit first, shouldn't we? I mean, come on, we're, we're young. Let's have some fun and then fall exhausted into each other's arms. Well, I've got an idea. Did you ever used to skid as a child? I used to love it. Come on. Oh, please don't. Let's skid. Where are you going? Don't you want to skid? No. What about our love making? Love making? God. Gone off it, sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oi! My shoes! Give me back my shoes! <laughs> Somehow, in three minutes, I'd gone from guaranteed sex to being bullied by eight year olds. <laughs> and I'm still not entirely sure how How's that he happened. fucked that up? Oh, hello, Scar, right? Jay. You're all right, Will. You got any action then? Um, yeah, I pulled a girl, actually. Fuck off. No way. So where's she now, then? Cleaning up her beaver for you? Uh, <laughs> oh, my no. God. <laughs> oh, well, plenty more fish in the sea. Jay's harpooned himself a whale. Give it a rest, Dad. A whale. I already told you, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, and I told you not to be so fussy and to get stuck in. You're more likely to get somewhere with a fat so because they're grateful for the attention. <laughs> Even from a loser like you. Dad. They say any port in a storm, and she was the size of a fucking port. <laughs> I know what you're up to. You think because she's so massive, she'll count as two shags? Well, she doesn't. <laughs> I'll get plenty of girls. No, you bloody don't. And even if you did, what could you do with that thing? It's like a McDonald's chip. <laughs> you definitely take after your mum in the cock size department. She ain't got one either. Dad, can you just leave me alone for once? <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right. <laughs> Bloody hell, he's just like his mum. Make one little joke and he has a shit fit. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Worst dad ever. Literally. Oh. Touching the booty. Go on, Zy, lad. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fucking hell, to get easy, Zy. Relax. You know that 16 year old making yes. out. Uh, look, look, look. He's going to swallow a head. <laughs> you look around. Oh, they yeah. They do such a good Sugar job, though, at this. Yeah. Right. So well written. Because we've been there. Fuck we've done right. that. Is this really happening? I'm going to have sex, aren't I? At last. Thanks for sorting <laughs> this, Jay. Fill this up for me. Fill this <laughs> up for me. <laughs> nice one. 
stupid. <laughs> you broke my top. Oh, God. Sorry, you just turned me on so much. My parents will see me. Oh, God, what's it? <laughs> oh, my. It's a condom. I thought we should be safe. Why have you got a condom on? It's I'm bad. not to have sex with you. You're not. But Jay said. Jay said what? Oh, what no. he said. What? What did Jay say? <laughs> hey, how's it feel to be a man then? You fucking liar! Shut her and her sister, have you? Those are times, yeah? Untold. Really? Because you didn't seem that keen, and her sister's 13 years old. Well, I haven't actually shagged her and her sister oh, exactly. God. Oh, my but gosh. Other similar girls. Well, thanks for the condom. I'll be lucky if I'm not on some sort of paedophile register by the end of the night. <laughs> oh, fuck, she's talking to her parents. We better go. Where's Neil? Don't know and don't care. Let's get out of here. Will, we're off. <laughs> Will, come on! <laughs> Prick. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I then had to spend a night in a caravan with Jay's dad and his irritable bow. Fucking caravans. Thanks very much for your hospitality, Mrs. Cartwright. <laughs> See you soon, Mr. Cartwright. Cheers, lads. Oh, and Simon. Don't worry about that Becky business. Her dad's calmed down now. We're all your age once. At least you had a pop. Unlike soppy bollocks here. Um, <laughs> soppy thanks. bollocks. Yeah, don't mention it. Now just try not to rape anyone on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't see why I should ever talk to you again, let alone give you a lift home. Look, you're just angry because you didn't get laid. Yeah, that's it. Let's just get out of this dump. And please, God, don't let me ever have to come back to a caravan park. All right. Where have you been? Oh, I've slept in the car. Shall we go then? Shotgun. <laughs> My seat's a bit wet. Mine is too. Yeah, it's wet here as well. Neil, did you wet yourself in my new car? It's not really new. Did you wet yourself? <laughs> no. I did have a bird back in here. You fucked a girl in my car? No, it's too small. Did a lot of fingering though. She wanked me off a few times. <laughs> oh! God! Get me out of here! Thanks, Neil. Who was she, then? Some sort of punky redhead. She was nice. She was mine! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sure, we can't stay here. Well, I'm not getting back in the Spunkmobile. Clean it up, Neil. Spunkmobile. <laughs> because you have spunked on my seat! <laughs> oh, God, this weekend has been a disaster. Well, one good thing is we've learned the caravan club is shit and that Jay is a liar. Oh, I'm such a liar that Neil got some. No, 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 no I said you, Neil got you some. You lied. Did Clean Neil it up, Neil. It's your car. Neil get some? It's your <laughs> sponge. <laughs> it could be her juice. Did Neil get any? That's the point. Now. Yes or no, did Neil get some? You lied. No, I no, want petrol you, money. You lied. For petrol. You lied. Money for petrol. That's a lie. I want petrol money for I'm what? Sure for what petrol. We <laughs> in this whole sorry episode. Apart from never take advice from Jay. But Jay said. Jay said what? When you are offered sex, don't skid. <laughs> and never, never follow Mr. Cartwright into the toilet. My eyes are burning. But as we stood arguing on the side of the A2, one thing was for sure. Neil can produce an unholy amount of spunk. And I want this clean now. No, oh, it's in your no. car, so it's yours. Oh, I'd so have If I spunk on you, that's you yours, is it? No, <laughs> you that just be really disgusting. <laughs> the spunk mobile. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Mr. Cartwright is one of my favourite characters in this. And uh, he's like a recurring character. He comes back. He is like the typical, like, old school british like geezer dead do you know what i mean like he is as british as it gets just terrible dad as well not saying the british father's terrible i'm saying that he's just like he would be the worst of them brilliant excellent good that what did you think of uh caravan um holidays what do you think for our next vacation i'll take you down to somewhere um i don't know somewhere like in cumbria or something to a uh 
I don't know where Cumbria is. That's where originally I'm from. Any Cumbrians out there representing Carlisle? Go on, if there's any Carlisle people out there, that's where I'm originally from. I thought it was Newcastle. No, well, we say Newcastle because it's the biggest, close, biggest city. But Carlisle city. is actually where Carlisle is actually where we're from. It's like an hour, but like it's it's the biggest city next to us. No one knows where the fuck Carlisle is, but people know okay. where Newcastle is. Or have heard of gotcha. Newcastle at least. Um, what did we learn this um, episode? What did we learn? Did we learn anything, babe? Can you remember anything? Any new ones? No. I remember pausing it, but I can't remember what it was now. But you definitely learned one or two new things. Yeah. Cool. And just refresh my memory on some others. Yeah, like Spunk and yeah. like stuff like that. Right. And the, you know, uh, Clunge, Johnny's. the Clunge mags. You know, we know what a Clunge is. Rib Johnny's. Rib Johnny's. So, uh, babe, you're going to be, by the end of this series, you are literally, we're going to get your British passport. We're going to, you know, move British you to Essex. Mate. You're going to move you to Essex. I'm, and I'm basically a Spice Girl. Killing it, babe. <laughs> Loser. Anyway, <laughs> fucking look at Spice you Girls. dancing to the theme song like you're ten. <laughs> I've just realised, by the way, I totally uh, actually like m- blend into the background. Look at my t-shirt. Good. You can hardly all you can see is my head bopping around. Go away. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out with us as per usual. I think there's only, if I'm correct, I think there's only six episodes in each series. I'm almost certain there is each season. Uh, in each season. How many seasons do you know? Uh, uh, three. Uh, oh no, we're going to be through this fast. So this one, yeah, this is episode five, so we've got six <sighs> to do that by the end of the series. We need to start another show. Still enjoying it though, isn't it? Brilliant. Thanks for hanging out with us. Always a pleasure. Anything to add, babe? Nope. See you all later. Bye. Bye.